Hi, I am Nitin and today we will start with the time, speed and distance. This is the first video of time, speed and distance and it is a very, very important topic. You can find out questions from time, speed, distance topic in MBA entrance examination as well as the government examinations like CAT, ZAT, IFT as well as in SSC, CZL and Bank PO. In the entire topic, there is only one formula and that formula is distance is always equal to speed into time. The only thing which you need to understand how to use this formula in different type of the questions like in boats and stream, relative speed, linear races, circular races, clocks and several other topics here. So one by one, I'll discuss each and every topic. Most of the question of the time speed distance can be solved logically. So whenever you are trying to solve any questions, Use logic. Just think, can you, can we do this particular question logically without using the application of the formula? Let's see here. The first thing which we'll be talking about in the first video, that is interchanging of distance or time. Okay. Interchanging of distance or time. So let's see. Now this is the first question which is in front of your screen. It says Nitin travels one third distance by bus okay, and the remaining distance by car and the total time taken by him is two hours. So one third by bus and two third by car in two hours. If he travels one third distance by car, all right, one third by car and the remaining distance by bus. So the distance has been interchanged. He takes 2 hours and 15 minutes. So he is taking 15 minutes extra. So find the time taken by Nitin if he travels the entire distance by bus. Also always make a habit of drawing a rough diagram in question related with the time, speed and distance here. So I can say, let's say I will divide the entire distance in 3 equal parts. Alright. So divide the entire distance in 3 equal parts. 1, 2 and 3. The first it says Nathan travels one third by bus. So I can say the first part by bus and the remaining part by car. So remaining two part by car and car. In how many hours? The total time taken here is two hours. If he travels one third by car and two third by bus. So one third by one part by car and two part by bus. So I can say two part by bus and one part by car. And the total time he takes is two hours and 15 minutes. 2 hours and 15 minutes. So if you observe here what is happening in this case. He travels the first part by bus in both the circumstances. In both the cases he travels the first part by bus and here also by bus. Also he travelled last part in both the cases by car and car. So can you tell me the increase of 15 minutes it has happened because of what? Because he switched from car to bus. Yes or no? The moment he switched from car to bus, there is an increase of 15 minutes for the middle part. Alright. So I can say here that first part he is traveling by bus. So bus and keep it bus. Whether the time will change? No. Second part bus, again bus, keep it bus. Whether the time will increase? No. The, the moment I shift from car to bus for the third part. The moment I shift from car to bus to the third part, there is a further increase of 15 minutes. Yes or no? Definitely yes. Because when the middle part, for the middle part, when I move from car to bus, I'm talking about this middle part, I move from car to bus, the time has been increased by 15 minutes. That you can say it here. There was an increase of 15 minutes. So here also there is going to be increase of 15 minutes. Four. So the total time taken will be 2 hours and 30 minutes minutes. So if it travels the entire distance by bus, the total time is going to think about that is 2 hours and 30 minutes. So this is your answer. So just see here, I haven't used any formula, a simple logical explanation for this question. So whenever there is a question based on interchanging of distance or even if it is interchanging of time, we can use this concept. Let's take one more example. Here it says Nitin travelled one fifth by bus and the remaining distance by car. 
so one fifth by bus and remaining distance means four fifth by car. So one fifth by bus. So I can write down first part by bus. All right. Then and the remaining four part by car, 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 and car. And the total time taken by him is nothing but that is three hours. Okay. If we travels one fifth by car and the remaining by bus means four fifth by bus. So four fifth of the distance by bus. So I can say bus. Bus, bus, and bus, and the last part by car, one fifth by car. He takes how many hours? That is three hours and thirty minutes. And what is the gap in the time duration? You can observe the total gap here. It is of nothing but that is thirty minutes. So why there is a gap of thirty minutes? That we need to understand here. Now for the first part in both the cases, it is bus and bus. So of course there is no change in the time. For the last part also, in both the cases, it is car and car. So again, I can say there is no change in the time. So this thirty minute has increased or decreased because of the change of thirty minute is happening because of the these three middle parts. So can you say for each of the part, since the distance for each of the part is same, so for each of the part there is a change of ten minutes. Yes or no? Here there is a change of ten minutes. Here also there is a change of ten minutes. Here also there is a change of ten minutes. All right. Now, the question says find the time taken by Nitin if he travels the entire distance by car. Entire distance by car. Okay. So let's try to understand if he travels the entire distance by car. So I can say car, 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 and car. So just see it here, all of you. Car to car. Whether there will be any change? No. Car to car. No change. Car to car. No change. Car to car. No change. But the moment I shift from bus to car, there has to be a decrease of ten minutes, not increase. Why? Try to understand this thing because here for each of this stretch, there changes of ten minutes. Okay. So when I move from car to bus, there is an increase of ten minutes because from three hours to three hours and thirty minutes. Okay. So when I'm moving from car to bus, there is an increase of ten minutes. So if I'm moving from bus to car. There is a decrease. I can say three hour thirty minutes to three hours, vice versa. So already here we can observe that these four parts, like this is car and car, car and car, car and car, car and car. There is no change. But the moment I move from bus to car, the time will further decreased by ten minutes. And if it is getting decreased by ten minutes, so I can say the total time taken will be two hours and fifty minutes. So, if I travel the entire distance by car, okay, if I travel the entire distance by car, the time taken by me will be nothing but that is two hours and fifty minutes. So, remember, it can be increased on the same concept. Even if the question is asked about, find the total time taken if you are traveling the entire distance by bus. So, what is going to happen if I travel the entire distance by bus? I can write down bus, bus, bus. And bus and bus. So for the first part, there is no change in time. Second part, bus to bus. Third part, bus to bus. Fourth part, bus to bus. But the moment I move from car to bus, there is a further increase of ten minutes. So the answer will be three hours and forty minutes. So question can be anything. If I am traveling the entire distance by car, the time taken by me will be two hours and fifty minutes. However, if I am traveling with the bus. The answer is going to be three hours and forty minutes. So I hope that this concept is clear. In the next video, we'll see a few more application of this concept. Thank you.